Apollo 16 ventures skyward. During the first two minutes and 42 seconds of flight, while the rocket is powered by its first stage, the S-1C, every motion the vehicle makes is done on a clockwork pre-programmed timer. The vehicle is simply following what it has already been told to do. This is known as a closed loop guidance system. It isn't until some 40 seconds into the second stage that the active steering guidance software takes over control of the vehicle. Roger. Go on all five on the S2. Steering has converged, the CMC is go. Roger. Roger, it looks good up here too. Echo, you ought to see that horizon, just gorgeous. The onboard computer makes decisions and attitude maneuvers in real time based on a set of inertial gyroscopes and onboard accelerometers in order to follow the most fuel-efficient trajectory towards its target orbit, with the astronauts intently monitoring the values and ensuring the computer's decisions make sense. Apollo 16 enters a nominal Earth orbit, and the countdown to the next important mission milestone begins. 